Good to see everyone. Um, I'm here with Harper, and I wanted to share with you a book that I think a lot of you will enjoy. The book we're going to be reading is called The Good Egg, and this is from Scholastic Books. And The Good Egg is a follow-up to The Bad Seed, which some of you may have read. Uh, that's a pretty popular book at school. So if you've read The Bad Seed, this is the second book in that series. All right, let's check it out. You ready, bud? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of things, like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, and I'll change your tires, and I'll even paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I don't know about that house paint. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. Oh, that's not good. They threw tantrums and they cried for no reason. And they broke their stuff on purpose. They are bad eggs. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning I noticed some cracks in my shell. <gasps> Yikes! They were everywhere. It's a sign of Someone put on him that says, kick me. Oh. My doctor said it was from all of the pressure that I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up. Literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, and the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, and I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, and I breathed out. I even started painting. And for once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. And I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself, Harper. Harper, can you sit back down? Here we go. Everybody missed me, and I missed them too. We have a nice sign that says, Welcome home! Oh, yeah. Right up 
here. It says, welcome home. Like they did an egg pyramid. Let go of the book, please. Let go. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clay. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. I don't know which ones are which. They don't really tell us. Okay, honey, I need you to sit down. Sure. Every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad. But it's not like before. This is what I realize. The other eggs aren't perfect. And I don't have to be perfect either. I'm okay with that. Yep. The old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. The end. Well, I hope that you guys all enjoyed that book. I hope that we're not being bad eggs, but we don't need to put too much pressure on ourselves to be the perfect egg either. I uh, hope to see you guys all soon, and maybe we can read some more books together. Bye-bye.